Okay, so Flutter is supposed to work with web and desktop, so we we'll try our best to support the web and the desktop. Uh, there's a little bit of complication here if you want to use web. Uh, so you need to provide embed builder. So what is embed? So embed, you can interpret it as uh, image or video. Basically right now it's just those two, image or video. So if you click on this, uh, this is uh, an example of embed builder. So it handles the uh, image and the, okay. Video, I think you need to provide your own. Uh, well, definitely you're welcome if you can contribute, a, ha, submit a pull request to add a case video. So if you look at, uh, okay, so example, example. So basically if I search for default embed, okay, for web. Uh, the reason why we uh, we didn't uh, add the default embed builder for web uh, in our library, but we actually put it here. The reason is that uh, dependency. We don't uh, want to introduce too many dependency. I think uh, the web has some dependency on like a file system picker and the file picker. But if you're only using mobile platform, you really don't need those uh, dependency. So that's why. That's one of the reasons why you have to uh, write your own embed builder, even it's just copy pasting. I mean, you can just copy paste this if it works for you. I think it's still missing video for now. Hopefully someday uh, uh, people can contribute to the repo with the case video. Okay. Uh, so same for desk, uh, also here you need to provide a web image picker pick. So basically, I uh, think uh, we we also have that. Uh, if you search for uh, web image pick, okay here. Uh, so you can copy paste it. Uh, the same reason we don't want to introduce dependency of the file picker. Uh, because if you are only running mobile, you should not be burden to uh, add this dependency into your repo. So that's the reason, okay? Uh, you can just copy paste it. I mean, you or you can uh, do something different, okay? And for desktop, it's the same. You need a file pick image if you click this. So this is for that desktop. So if you want to have, yes, it's here basically. This implementation, okay? So basically this is a dependency on file system picker. Uh, that is being used for uh, the desktop, okay? So currently, uh, so if you add an image, by default, it, the image occupies the whole line uh, because we don't know uh, uh, the, the width and the height for the image right now. Uh, in the web also, uh, so okay, let, let me explain this way. Uh, go to sample data. So let's say image, what image we have. So here, uh, when you insert the image, right? If you define width and style, this is something the the web application can understand. This is basically CS, basic CSS, okay? So this can be uh, understand, uh, like if you use this, uh, for React web, so basically we, we spoke about a uh, uh, the web correspondent React Quill, right? So if you use React Quill and uh, if you uh, let's Quill JS uh, editor. So if you try to use Quill JS, right? I mean, uh, trying to find the online uh, online thing. Anyway, if you can find some online one, or oh, actually we can use Bullet Journal. Uh, so Demo. Okay, let me try to find the, uh, okay, collaborative. So this is uh, one example right here. So if you, if you, I mean, how I get it is if you click collaborative, you can open uh, collaborative editing. Uh, okay, this one doesn't support image, I think. Yeah, uh, or I can show you uh, my original. Okay, let me try to show you mine. 
Okay, so this is my bullet journal app. So this is the web version, okay? So what I'm trying to say is here, flat queue. So if you open a new one, so this is basically the editor. Uh, this is based on uh, Re uh, React, so it's not uh, the flat queue, but uh, the underlying data format says should be compatible. So that's what I'm saying. If you like try to like open an image, right? So if you try to do any image, um, you can control the CSS. Uh, uh, so uh, you will manipulate the width and the height. So that's basically here, the the style. Okay. So that's but the that being said, that's being used for web, not the mobile. I mean, you cannot expect this width to be understood by mobile, right? Because mobile has a different, totally different size, right? So this is not pixel, I mean, right? So that's why we decide, uh, okay, uh, let me see if I have it. Okay, so this is image, why this is like a daunting is this is base 64 image, right? Uh, it's not a URL, so this, this image is base 64, so that's why you see so many uh, strings in the sample data JSON. Uh, we try to provide different example uh, for testing purpose. So basically, we support base64 as image. So this base64 also come with uh, like uh, the style. So in the style, if you define here, we know this is being used for web. So additionally, this is our own custom definition. We call it the mobile width, mobile height mobile margin, mobile alignment. So that's what is being used here. So if, I, if you define those, uh, if, if you actually search for the code base, I mean, let's see. We actually use this for the image. Go here. OK, so when we're trying to build the image here, uh, we actually use uh, those uh, properties, if you define it, uh, to basically it's a double for the width, height, basically an alignment, if you define it. So it's corresponding to the uh, image network. So when you, if it's a network or the file, basically this is the width, height, alignment. And the padding is basically uh, this is here. This is the padding for edge insects, insects. Okay. So, so if you want to like uh, in the future, if you want to build some feature like uh, adding a GIF, a small GIF or like a emoji like a GIF uh, or small pictures. And then you want to display it uh, uh, by manipulating the, the size for the mobile only, you can do that. Right now, we support the data format. We define this four key keywords. Okay, so we, we support these four keywords. Um, but uh, we, uh, right now, we don't have a toolbar. So there are people asking, like, uh, how can you manipulate the mobile width and the uh, height uh, in the toolbar. So right now we don't have that functionality via toolbar. Uh, hopefully one day we can do that. Uh, it will come down to more detailed uh, complication like you have to build uh, basically a, a tool or some uh, like some kind of UI when user manipulated width, right? You don't want, uh, want the user to enter the number, right? So basically uh, the best user experience could be like a dragging, drag and drop, right? Like resizing the image, and we we when we read from what the user did, and we get the the dimension from the user's input, then we 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 save the mobile width and the mobile height. So there's a lot of details if you want to implement that, and we don't have that for UI through UI yet. Um, but the, the the underlying data format to support this is already there. Uh, if you try out the example directory to run the uh, the app, you can actually see a small uh, a cat icon or picture, a much smaller 
instead of occupying the whole uh, occupying the whole line because by default it's uh, using the original pictures uh, uh, pixel and stuff and the dimension to occupy the whole line so these are very useful if you want to build something especially uh, right now it pretty sucks because you don't have a UI to do that um, one of the reasons is we don't know how to build such UI especially we wanted the user experience to be user to be able to jack and drop right so that uh, probably you need a, need some external library to help to do that uh, that's something we might want to be thinking about okay uh, we also support right now we think I think we support 14 languages by far uh, internationalization uh, so you can uh, basically add uh, if you want to add translations uh, you can go to this file to add a new translation to support uh, uh, some translation may be wrong uh, you're welcome to submit a pull request to fix it uh, right now 14 language I think uh, that means at least 14 different uh, language sp speaking people are using our repo which is pretty great okay so I think I went through the the readme page uh -huh. next video we're gonna take a walkthrough of the architecture we're gonna go through the each different folder I think I don't need to explain the translation folder right that's basically where you can contribute to our new translation or uh, fix the translation okay uh, like a models folder we'll talk about it next time